Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what a corpus colostomy is, who is eligible to have one, pre-surgery requirements, how the procedure is performed, what to expect after surgery, side effects, risk, and how effective is the procedure. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. Please click on our donate link in the description section below and donate today. Your donation helps us to make a difference for those battling epilepsy. We appreciate your support. A corpus colostomy is a type of surgery for patients who are experiencing atonic seizures, also known as drop attacks. The corpus callosum is a bundle of nerve fibers connecting the brain's left and right sides. A corpus callostomy divides the corpus callosum, isolating the sections of the brain that is causing atonic seizures. The goal of the procedure is to prevent seizures from spreading throughout the brain, limiting the length of the attacks and how often they occur. A corpus callostomy is often a choice for children who have been taking anticonvulsant medication and cannot get their seizures to stop, also known as drug-resistant epilepsy. The procedure can be helpful to those who want to minimize the length and occurrence of atonic seizures. Individuals who are battling focal seizures, which take place in only one area of the brain, procedures like a corpus callostomy will not be effective. Before having surgery, your specialist may order tests to determine where seizure activity is coming from, EEG. An EEG, or electroencephalogram, is often used to track electrical activity in the brain by measuring the electrical impulses in your brain. An MRI creates images of the brain. It uses magnets that cause protons to align with the magnetic field. Radio frequency is released and the computer captures the energy released from the protons creating an image. PET scan. A PET scan is a procedure that will reveal the function of oxygen and glucose in your brain, helping to identify the regions related to your seizures. A corpus callostomy is performed with the patient under anesthesia. There are two different ways that a corpus callostomy can be performed. Conventional method. A neurosurgeon removes a section of the skull, then uses surgical microscopes to insert special instruments to disconnect the nerve fibers or cut the corpus callosum. Once completed, the neurosurgeon will put back the removed piece of the skull and seal the skin incision. Lip procedure. A neurosurgeon will use laser technology then an MRI guides. The laser will remove and destroy brain cells that are causing seizures while not affecting the surrounding tissue. Depending on what method the surgeon uses to perform the procedure will determine what recovery care the patient will need. Conventional method. After surgery, the patient will be in intensive care for the first day after surgery and then move to a monitoring room for a few days. Over the next few weeks, the patient will be allowed to ease back into their daily lives. If in school, they will be allowed to return to school within two to four weeks. Lip procedure. After surgery, the patient will be monitored for a couple of hours and then released within one to two days. They will be able to return to normal activities within a couple of weeks. After both treatments, patients are expected to continue to take their anticonvulsant medications. Side effects of the surgery include fatigue, feeling out of it, memory problems, headaches, nausea, and trouble talking. Symptoms should resolve within two months. Post-surgery follow-up visits will be scheduled for the patient to make sure they are recovering and not developing complications. Complications from surgery can include disconnection syndrome, where the left and right sides of the body do not move in sync since they are now separated, apraxia and aphasia, trouble talking, slurred speech, and loss of words, stroke, and brain swelling. 
Corpus colostomy has been shown to improve the occurrence of drop attack seizures, limiting the frequency by 50 to 75 percent. For every one in five people, corpus colostomy ends their seizures, leaving them seizure free. In conclusion, corpus colostomy is a viable option for those suffering from seizures that spread throughout the brain and are medicine resistant. Corpus colostomy works by dividing your corpus colostum to prevent seizures from spreading throughout the brain. This highly effective treatment can help to get seizures under control and improve the patient's quality of life. To learn more about corpus colostomy, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.